Well, hello once again, web travelers on Facebook and other places. This is Steve of the Desert Wasteland here in Reno on a very bitter cold day in December after Christmas. And I'm up this morning in good spirits and uh, I ground up some of my the coffee beans that look at how sh look at the sheen on those look how shiny those are those that means that they're really good I ground them up and I keep them fresh in these glass jars that I save uh, it's got a real good tight fitting lid that's a spaghetti sauce jar and I grind it up in my grinder and here's the bean the bag the bag of bean to keep them fresh uh, the beans are in there rather than keeping them in that bag you know I grind them in my uh, Krupp's coffee grinder and, and make a pot of coffee now um, see that where it says eight right there okay I fill it to the line eight line with four tablespoons of ground coffee that makes it medium strong you know I like coffee to, to, to be able to taste it I don't like watery coffee and I'm having it inside my Santa mug and let me take a sip the smell is just it's indescribable indescribable oh god oh man is that ever good it's so f pungent it's just wonderful so yeah so I just wanted to share my my morning with you it's a very quiet morning here in, in Reno hardly any traffic on the road it's Christmas weekend obviously um, people are staying home inside their houses having breakfast probably bacon and eggs and pancakes and sausages being cooked up in homes in America right now Ooh, God have mercy but yeah here's outside as you can see normally the traffic is picking up. Normally, this would all be covered in snow. Let's see. See how cold it is? Definitely. Very, very cold. But, uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a nice day. I can even hear a little bird chirping out here. I thought they all flew south. That means they're going to poop on my car. If I park it out there and there's the Christmas tree and no I don't immediately take down my Christmas tree the minute after the presents are unwrapped I like to uh, enjoy the tree till after New Year's I just don't get people to take now a live living tree can be a fire hazard if it's all dried out and I say get rid of it you know but that is a, a false tree and so it can stay up a lot longer. As you can see, I'm wearing my, my new cashmere scarf that my friend gave me for Christmas. Look at that beautiful red color. Isn't that nice? Looks good on me, I think. And don't pay any attention to me. I haven't shaved my face. I've just been just kicking back in my pajamas and everything in my house alone. And it, I'm very comfortable and relaxed on this nice Saturday as we remember the end of 2014 coming up here next week now I, I really can't say that I like this year um, it's kind of a rather unpleasant year uh, you know as I wrote about my friend passing away and then a lot of time being lonely and trying to adjust to living in a quiet house again I know things will get better as and they have as time goes on so I'm hoping that 2015 will turn out to be a really nice pleasant year let's hope so for there's a lot of anger and a lot of violence in the world that really disturbs me though I mean all of this political discrimination stuff these these uh, crazy extremist right wingers and crazy lefties and they discriminate against each other and use po politics as a tool to uh, be discriminatory against others and, and racist. A lot of racial issues going on, um, anger, violence, buildings being burned, fires, windows smashed, things destroyed. I don't like that. And after those 
seeing video of the, the policemen who were murdered and executed because of these protests and the issue involved and seeing the, the wives and the children crying in the cameras all because some nut just walked up to the the policemen and, and blew their brains out you know over 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 that that's that's just I'm I'm really not too friendly about that cause now after seeing that and seeing the violence going on people chanting kill the police and other stuff like that uh, you know I mean I you know we all know the police can do na be nasty and do stuff to people that uh, is against uh, the law but nobody should have to be executed for it and um, not an eye for an eye in this case so I'm, I'm I really hope that next year we'll see a lot less of that uh, but you know when people get on a tangent they just take it until everybody gets really sick of it you know and I'm really sick of it and that's why I am glad that I turned got rid of my cable the bill was like near two hundred dollars for basic services they raised the price of the internet up to along with it I have a package so this is what the picture looks like with just plain old high rabbit ears see beautiful I mean all the channels that I that I usually watch the local ones have a a picture like that let's see then there's some let's see see look at how beautiful the picture is I mean you can't look for free I don't want all those other channels and especially I don't want CNN anymore because all they do on that channel is incite people to protest and and walk and do more damage and and as well as Fox News they get those people on there mouthing off and it's, and getting people all riled up you know and that's not a good thing so I say just drop it and let us have a new year that is pleasant and so anyway with the end of that got a little bit of uh, kind of I had uh, leftover turkey on toast for breakfast and a little bit too much pepper in it so here's my my cat a little dip. oh yeah aren't you just a little sweetest thing look at her yeah Meow. What are you doing with my clock? How'd that get there? Did I put that there? Clock given to me by my company that I worked for before I got sick. I've been reading this. This book is by America's Test Kitchen, which is the show on PBS that, that is really a wonderful show called Cook's, Cook's Country. And they, and they test all their recipes. Unlike a lot of other famous cooks whom I won't mention that just publish books and really have not tested their recipes. These people do. And it is a very fine and well-made book. Uh, see, it's got even a placeholder. And here's one, a recipe in this thing that, for Texas chilla. Very, I'm going to do that one, that's for sure. Chilies, there's a whole section on that. Uh, Braised short ribs, pot roast. Look at that. How about some pot? Look at that. You can even do turkey breast with gravy in a crock pot. It's all about crock slow cooker recipes, which I happen to like. I think slow cooked food is uh, tastes good. And then see, I've got this reading light. It takes three little batteries, and uh, it. So, ooh, see how bright that is. I think that's a halogen or a lead light. I'm not sure. Look at it. Look at it on this pushy cat here. See her? <laughs> you don't like that, do you? Okay. She's very. She likes her soft blankets, and then this nice mink feeling throw that my friend Elisa gave me for Christmas. This feels like mink fur. Have you ever felt mink? Well, this is what. That's what that throw blanket feels like it's a very very soft kind of a fabric that pussycats like that like as well as I do and I had that over me last night got very cold last night 
here because as I wrote on my Facebook, the cold times, not particularly December, but January and February. Now that's when the shit hits the fan weather-wise. Um, maybe we'll have a mild winter this year, but it, uh, in those months, it's usually the temperatures drop down to zero and you get snow and rain and, and really awful things <laughs> weather-wise, you know. I mean, ew, very uncomfortable and people get flooded out and stuff too. God, I feel bad for those people when they get flooded and lose their homes and everything. I, it's just, there should be a big government fund that everybody kind of like puts a dollar into. You know, and that could help all of those storm ravaged people. Just imagine only a lousy dollar. A dollar's not worth anything, but with all of us giving a dollar, can you imagine the, the, the wonder of all the help that those people would get in their lives would be restored? If only people would just give one dollar out of all the millions that live in this country. And that that would be a great thing. But do you think the people up in Washington would come up with an idea like that, where you could go to a liquor store or a supermarket and punch and make sure that that donation actually goes to the fund and not to uh, some fat cat uh, that, that that's running the show, you know, and getting a big huge salary? The money needs to all go into that fund. But do you think they'd think up something like that? No, you know. They just don't want to do it. So anyway, there's my coffee. I just love the wonder of fresh coffee. Mm. And I want you all to have a wonderful Christmas weekend. And I will share my New Year's Eve with you because I am not going out in that freezing cold. Oh, no way. It will be close to zero by then because this, this cold front is going to get worse. I'm not doing it. So I'm going to stay in here and watch it on TV. Nothing wrong with that. I like it. So happy holidays to all of you. Thanks for visiting uh, my Facebook and my website. And uh, hugs to you all. And a very merry and happy new year of 2015 coming up for you. Take care.